not fallen for that. I said, good evening, everybody. Yeah, welcome back to the Movement Monday Nights, where we come together every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. And right now we're at Norway Avenue, Church of Christ, 1400 Norway Avenue, 7.30 every Monday night, where we come together as a group of people. Started several years ago, just a few of us went to the river with a little black bound Bible, and we said we all wanted more from life, and we knew that God was the answer, amen? amen. I said we knew that God was the answer, amen? amen? So how many of you guys know what we're doing tonight? How many of you guys know you're here for a recovery concert? <laughs> so we've got three amazing bands. First, we got Theody. Give it up for Theody. <laughs> then we're going to have Chaotic Resemblance. Give it up for Chaotic Resemblance. <laughs> and then headlining tonight, we got Silverside in the house. <laughs> They're always amazing. So we've had Theody here before, and we're glad to have them back tonight. Um, they've got a bunch of merchandise out here. and. We're running a little low on t-shirts, and so I want to make a t-shirt order. I want to make a couple of new t-shirts. And so I've got a few boxes of t-shirts with me. So here's what I'm going to do. First off, get out one of these silly little things if you got one. Don't worry if you're in one of the recovery programs, you don't have one yet. You'll get one. Keep doing the next right thing. You'll get one. If you got one, get it out. Hold it up. Go to the top of my Facebook page and share it. If I get 30 shares tonight, that'll be one t-shirt. Who wants a free t-shirt? I brought a bunch of t-shirts. So the second offer I have is anyone who buys a t-shirt from any of the merchandise stands out there from Theody, Kadok Resemblance, or Silverside, you automatically get a free t-shirt with Lifehouse. And I'm also going to give away another t-shirt to the crowd just for because they bought one. Amen? So who's sharing? All right. Are you guys ready to have a good time tonight? Yeah. Who wants to be free from alcohol and drugs? I'm not talking about just off the stuff. I'm talking about where God removed your desire to even do it anymore. Huh? I'm talking about true freedom. It was for freedom that he set us free, it says. Huh? Is Brandon Nottingham in the house? Can I, oh, yeah. We're going to be happy. We're also going to... I bet this has never happened. During Silverside said, I'm going to baptize somebody tonight, all right? Yeah. And if anybody else feels led and God's been working in your life, we do have some, uh, we have some swimming trunks and T-shirts and stuff, so we have something you can change into. If anybody else wants baptized before the final set, let me know, okay? If God's been moving in your life, you know it's time. We can baptize you tonight, too. But, so I bet this is the first time that's ever happened. You guys ready? Yeah. That's it? Can God get a yell? Yeah. Lauren? Theody? Are you guys ready? One more minute. I could say something for a minute. Da -da 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 -da. How many of you guys know that <clears throat> to recover from alcohol and drugs, it takes God? Yeah. Right? I just spoke at a big event over in Ohio. I was with the mayor of Ironton and uh, the big county judge and the prosecutor. And I was telling him, I believe in every path for recovery. I didn't used to. I was an absolute abstinence guy. Only point you to God, and it was through Jesus Christ. That was it. I don't believe that anymore. I think this thing's so big. We need every avenue clicking on all cylinders, man. I believe in therapy. I believe in change the way you think groups. I believe in faith-based groups. Somebody points you to God, especially Jesus Christ. I also believe in medically assisted treatment. Look, if you're just not there yet, and you think you need Suboxone and you won't do nothing else, I would rather you be on Suboxone than, and doing it right, by the way, than kicking my garage door in to steal my weed eater and lawnmower. Right? So if that's just where you're at, look, I'm going to meet you wherever you are. I'm going to meet you there, and hopefully when you finally come. See, here's what I found out about God, and if you don't know this, listen to me tonight. Here's what I found to be true. You want to have an encounter with God? Yeah. You're going to have an encounter with you first. When you come to the end of you and you've encountered you, then and only then, I think, will you really seek the Lord with your whole heart. See, I came to the end of me. I had an encounter with myself, and I found out that there was nothing. And I know it tonight. 
that without God in my life, I know what, what a miserable, no good, brick-carrying addict that I am. All right? How many else knows without God you're nothing? All right? With God, I'm capable of everything and anything, but without God, my life's nothing. We're good? They said they're good. You guys ready? Yeah. Give it up for Theity. was a part of the deal and no one told me it would cost me everything my time is up and it's getting real you can't be rescued without surrender there is no life without death but will you get it your heart is a planet right even now to find a relationship are you ready this is all i said yeah we have been safe not mad but it's not up for negotiation here it goes, it's all nothing. Are you ready? This is not a game, and I don't care. Do you think that I am insane? It's all up for negotiation. Here it goes, it's all nothing. I'm being drawn by a passionate fire, an understanding, comprehensible love. My situation begs the question is it worth the life I'd walk away from? It's not Without commitments, you can't afford if you won't leave your bread. Well, will you stand if your heart is to run this? Right here and now, the burn a relationship. Are you ready? This is not a test. Yeah, we have been safe. Nonetheless, but it's not up for negotiation. Here it goes. It's all or nothing. Are you ready? This is not a test. And I don't care. Here it goes, it's all or nothing
This is awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We hope you have a good time. I know we are going to. So uh, we're Theity. We're from Franklin, Tennessee. Yeah. And you guys weren't in this building last time we were here, but we were here last summer, and it was a blast. And it looks like it's going to be the same. So um, I need some help with this next song. You guys up for that? Yeah. All right. I'll teach you it so you know what you're doing. First part is really easy. I'm going to shout, hey, and I need you to echo back. So let's do that, all right? Hey! Sounds pretty good. The next part is a little more complex. La, 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 I can't hear you. Let's try that. La, 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 I can't hear you. All right, not too bad. You got the basic part of it, but I need a little bit more energy. I need to believe you a little more. I know uh, most of you guys are above the age of being able to get away with throwing a tantrum, but I'm basically giving you permission to do that, okay? So let's, let's channel that inner two-year-old that you know is still in you. Every once in a while, it, it comes up. I want you guys to scream it like you mean it, okay? Let's try this one more time. La, 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 I can't hear you. La, 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 I can't hear you. Much better, let's do this. I hope that's all right with you. I want to share with you a little bit about what this song means to me. I've always considered myself to be a perfectionist. And sometimes that can be a good thing. But I think if I'm honest with myself, most of the time it does more harm than good. Um, like, for example, I think I get caught up in going through the motions. You know, like doing all the right things, the things that a Christian is supposed to do and behave the way they're supposed to behave. But 
I find it really difficult and challenging to just be alone with God, you know? Like, open up my Bible, read, pray. And we were talking about this earlier. I mean, it's, it's not always the first thing on our mind, you know? And, and I know it should be. And I grew up being told and believing that there's nothing I can do to make God love me less. And that really is true. Like, while we were still in our sin, Christ died for us, and that's awesome. But it's only recently that I've realized that there's nothing that I can do to make God love me more. And, and that is a big deal, you know? It's not my, my performance doesn't determine God's love for me. And so what he desires is my heart. He desires a relationship with me. And out of that relationship, that obedience and those actions are gonna follow naturally. And I don't have to worry so much about being good, you know? So this song has just been such a reminder to me every time we play it of God's heart for me and his heart for you. And I hope it blesses you tonight. There's something in the way you say my name Won't you take me away with you Tell me that I'm all you're looking for I see the pain in your eyes you try to hide Suspicion comes naturally You've been abandoned so many times
Thank you. All right, guys, we've got one more song, and then Chaotic Resemblance is going to take the stage, and they're going to rock your faces off, I promise. We're actually really excited because we released a music video for this a few days ago. So um, you should go check that out after the show tonight. It's on our YouTube channel. It's, we've got links on our Facebook and Instagram also. So go check that out. But this song talks about brokenness. You know, we all have our own stories, our own struggles. But in the end, we're really very similar. We all are broken. We all have things that we try to mask from other people mask from ourselves even. But this song also talks about hope and that, that hope for, for reconciliation with God, for healing and redemption. So this song is called Masquerade. I hope you like it. Look at you there in the light. Do they see now? Life is worth more from your selfish heart. Stitched together by the pride of God, left but are you proud of what you are? Too ashamed of what you made of yourself, wearing your mask because the scars won't fade. Making fear of what they possibly could see, deceiving yourself day after day. You're so afraid to face your disarray, but don't lose hope. There is beauty in ruin. You're so ashamed of the choice. Lost in the sky, believe your own charade Hiding your face cause you can't bear what's underneath Dying to be seen through your masquerade You open your mouth, there's no turn back now That's your restore the heart of stone to flesh You panic for a moment as you let your guard down What if there's no way to start again? You're so afraid to take your disarray But don't lose hope, there is beauty in rain. You given up, pretending for so long. Rise up and face the sun, afraid you're more than what you made. How much have you given up, pretending for so long? Rise up and face the sun, afraid. Let's crash this mess away. You're so afraid to get your display, but don't lose hope. There is beauty.
Check, check. Let's go through. All right, we're gonna take a second and uh, switch the old drum kits around. All right, you guys ready or what? I need everybody to get up and come to the front. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. What can I do this? Come on, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. In fact, you guys can use all this if you want to, all this right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! As I look to the heavens and call on the one Who created the moon and ignited the sun Compassion and love overtake my space As if the very end of God Wiped the tears from my face 
No! Shame and guilt cry out. You'll never be anything, you'll never amount. You know the truth, yet day do you fear? Your soul is stained, we'll see you in hell. I hang my head to think on what I've done, yet somehow I'm only reminded of how true love took my place and hung on a tree. He died that day, but rose in three. Shame and guilt that's driven to run Cause nothing, nothing, nothing can change What Jesus has done Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart This life's not the end, it's only the start Yeah. 
you are my king, you are the throne I step up, run to the Lord To get down, I'll put out this blood Raging fire bar A new fire burns inside of me And the flame let it spread To all the old destruction Yeah, comes to fire spirit My life, a holy living sacrifice I lay it down, I lay it down Fire it off, inside and out Let's go Say all of me, write me a place With so my heart with you I have made a covenant I put the down to flesh When I was weary you claim me rest there's only one king, only one soul Step up unto the Lord To get down and put out the sword Raging fire bar A new fire burns inside of me That my fame let it spread The army on this course and death Tongues of fire, spirit of I will give to you my life A holy living sacrifice I lay it down, I lay it down Fire it up, inside and out Come on, LA Are you feeling West Virginia? I serve the God who answers by the faith Burn me up till only you remain louder I serve the God who answers by the faith Burn me up till only you remain I serve the God who answers by the faith Burn me up till only you remain guys are crazy, man. But let me tell you something. I can't play anymore until you guys fill this area right here. I just can't do it, man. Look at all these people and all this empty space. Come on, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Where's all my radicals at? Come on, man. Come on. All right, you guys ready? How about you back there? You ready? Raging fire bar A new fire burns inside of me But my fire let it spread To all the old destruction death Cause the fire spirit of rage I will give to you my life A holy living sacrifice I lay it down, lay it down Fire it up Light it out! I'll let it go! I'll let it go! Light it out! Inside it out! Yeah. We're chaotic resemblance, man. How you doing? You guys are awesome, dude. Is it cool if I talk to you guys for a second about my Jesus? Yeah. Is there anybody out here that knows my friend Jesus? Yeah. Do we have any Jesus junkies in the building tonight? Yeah. That's what I am, man. I'm a Jesus freak through and through. And I can't come talk to you. I can't come play this music without talking about what my Jesus has done for me, man. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God.
Oh God, you're awesome, Lord. I thank you, King Jesus, for who you are and what you've done for all of us in this building. Lord, your word says that you've given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Because of the truth. Because of the truth, guys. I'm talking about the truth that sets people free. Is there anybody in here that's been set free? I said, is there anybody in here that my Jesus is set free? He has put a banner over your head that says Yahweh, that says King Jesus, that says property of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You're worth something, man. He loves you so much. So much. All right. Okay, Holy Spirit. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit on my throne as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throat. What I love is that at the end of that scripture, Jesus sets the example and says, look, I did it, man. This is what I did, a man. Yes, he was fully God, but he came here fully, fully as man and showed us what a man with the Holy Spirit can do. See, we have been commissioned. We have a responsibility to walk as Jesus walked. Amen? This tour we're on is called the beauty of grace. And grace is an amazing thing. Don't get it twisted, man. It's an amazing thing. Grace empowers us to walk as Jesus walked. See, we can't do it on our own, man. It's hard, dude. But it's not complicated. It's hard, but it's not complicated. Child of God, you better hear me. You better hear me because there's a bunch of doctrines that are going on that are just twisted and straight from hell, man. Why would you want to live like hell? Even if you can make it to heaven. There's this theory that's going around that we can live like hell and still go to heaven. Man, Jesus paid too big of a price for that. He died so that heaven could come inside of you. And that something would be so attractive that when people see what Jesus has done in your life, and in your life, and in your life, and in your life, they'll want it, man. Why would they want what they already got? The scripture talks about Jesus standing at the door and knocking. I love telling this story, so I'm going to tell you guys this little story. There's this man who had a house, and he cared for this house so much, and he had so many rooms in it, and it was his beloved home, dude. One day he got a knock on the door, so he opens it, and it's Jesus standing at his door. And he says, oh, Jesus, come in, come in, come in, come in. And Jesus comes in, and he goes, here's the key to my best room, to my very best room. Man, I got all the flat screens, dude. I got all the Xboxes and the PS4s and everything you want in this room. My robes, I got a bathtub, dude. He's telling Jesus all this stuff. Jesus being a gentleman accepts the room, accepts the room, so he stays with him. That night he gets another no knock at the door, so he goes and answers the door. And this time it's the devil standing there. So the man fights back and forth all night long, trying to, trying to not let the devil get in. And finally, by the time that it's almost morning, he gets the do door shut and locked. Wore out, crying. He remembers, Jesus is staying here. Jesus is staying here. So he runs upstairs and says, Jesus, oh Jesus, how could this have happened? You were staying with me. How could this have happened? Jesus says, son, I came to stay with you and you only gave me one room. And he says, oh master, I see, I see. Here's half, here's half of everything I got. He gives Jesus half. Jesus being a gentleman accepts. Well that night again, he gets another knock at the door. He goes, who could it be? He goes and answers it. It's the devil again, man. And this time he fights. And it's even harder. It's even harder this time. And he struggles all night long to keep the devil out of his beloved home. And by the time the sun comes up, he finally gets the door shut and locked. He's crying. He's wore out, man. He remembers. Jesus has half my home. So he runs upstairs. Oh, Jesus, how could this have happened? And Jesus says, son. You only gave me half. If you would give me everything, if you would give me all your rooms, it wouldn't be me to stay with you. 
But you who's staying with me, yeah. you who's staying with me, he says, oh, Jesus, I repent. I change the way I think because that's what true repentance is, is arming ourselves with the mind of Christ, changing the way we think, renewing our minds. So that night, after giving Jesus everything, he gets another knock at the door. And before he can even think to get up, he hears footsteps going down the stairs, man. And Jesus goes, and he opens that door, and the devil sees the Son of God standing there and realizes that this is property, property of the King of Kings. And he cannot cross the bloodline. He cannot come here no more. He has no part here no more because Jesus owns everything here. Jesus has it all. Friend, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you, friend. You can't just give him one room. You can't just give him half your rooms. You have to give him all of you. You have to give him all of you. I've heard my whole life, invite him into your heart, invite him into your heart, and that's true. And we have to do that, man. I'm not saying you don't. Well, how sad would it be to give him your heart but withhold the rest of you? Friend, we have to give him all of us. All of you. Man, you're worth so much. He has more thoughts for you than the sands of the seashore, dude. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. Let me pray for you guys. Is that cool? Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for this group of world changers, of planet shakers that stand before me. I thank you, God. And God, what you're fixing, it's pull them through. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide us. Is there anybody that's out in this audience tonight that would say, Travis, man, you're speaking to me, dude. You're speaking to me, man. I've given him one room. I maybe have even given him half or more, but I have never given him all of me. If that's anybody out here, I want to see your hand. Is that anybody? Is there anybody out there with say, Travis, man? I've just been hurt. I've been burned by the church. I've been I've been burned by those who are supposed to be representations of Jesus, man. And the Jesus that you're sharing. Doesn't sound like the Jesus that I've seen. And I want to see this Jesus that you're talking about. Yeah. Is anybody out there? Is that you? Yeah. Is there anybody out here tonight that has never accepted Jesus into your heart and into your life? If that's you, raise your hand. Tonight's your night, friend. Tonight's your night. Repeat after me. Father. I surrender. I give you all of me. I give you every room. Withholding nothing. I'm clay in your hands. Forgive me. Teach me. I want to walk as you walk, Jesus. I give you my life. And I give you every key. In Jesus' name, amen. I feel so compelled in my heart to ask you guys. I don't know why. This is the first time I've ever done this. So I know it's the Holy Spirit. Is there anybody out here that's, that struggles with shoulder pain? Shoulder pain. Anybody? Raise your hand. Anybody? Raise your hands high. Any right shoulders? Left shoulders, keep your hands up too. I just felt the specific for the right. It's awesome. Anybody with any knee problems in here? Knee problems? Anybody without cartilage, cartilage in your knee? Without cartilage in your knee. Awesome. Jesus is going to heal you. 
Lower back problems, anybody? We serve an amazing healing God. Yeah. Mark 16 says that these signs will follow those who believe. And tonight you came to the right place. So neighbor, if you raise your hand for any of that, raise your hand. Neighbors, lay your hands on your neighbor that has their hands up. We're going to pray, man. Jesus is going to do something really cool right now. I guarantee it. Amen. Amen, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come to you right now. Lord, you are the healer for everybody with shoulder injuries and shoulder pains, God. Healed in the name of Jesus. Brand new in your name, oh God. For anybody with knee problems, healed right now. A create a miracle for cartilage to, to, to come into place right now. In Jesus' name, where it hasn't been before, God. Right now, in your name, Lord, create a miracle right now, Jesus. Anybody with lower back problems healed right now, Lord. I pray that a heat flows through our bodies. Lord, we pray in your name, Jesus. Your word in our mouth is just as powerful in, your, in yours, God. Because your word changes everything. Lord, I speak these words, your words that you've spoken, Lord. And I speak a healing over everybody in here right now, God. Brand new in the name of Jesus. Brand new in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Try it out, man. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Does anybody feel a little different? Anybody feel a little different? Praise God, man. We serve an amazing God. We serve an amazing God. He's the healer. He's the king. He is King Jesus, man. He came for you. He died for you. And he intercedes for you now, Fred. This is real. This ain't crazy, man. This is the truth. This is the truth. You came to the right place, friend. You came to the right place, man. We love you guys. We're chaotic resemblance. We got one more song for you. The silver side's gonna come up here, and things are gonna get really crazy. I'm telling you, man, we've got a tour with Silver Side and Thede, some of the best people we've ever met in our lives. Lifelong friends. You guys are gonna have a blast tonight. Let's start a riot! I want to see you get crazy for Jesus! Hey, hey! Come on! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! How can we be the generation they remember? How can we be like you? What can we do to make a different situation? What more can we do? We won't sit down and die This is a battle cry One voice, one matter I wanna see you start a riot I wanna see you lose control you never know until you try it Give your heart to save your soul oh! hey, hey, hey. Come on! Hey! 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 hey. We won't give it any more of their persuasion They never speak Let's roll! We will set firm until the end of desolation We'll only follow Jesus We won't sit down and die This is a battle cry One voice, one matter I wanna see you start a riot I wanna see you lose control you never know until you try it Give your heart to save your soul Oh 
This is a riot at the riot, riot, a final call to action. This is your invitation. Riot, riot, the last generation. I wanna see you start a riot. I wanna see you lose control. You'll never know when to try it. Give your heart to save your soul. Jesus is King. Let me hear you. Jesus is King.
So sick of all this pain inside The world is so lonely with just you inside Did you stop and think just what you would miss With disaster waiting at your fingertips Hey, 
if you call me tomorrow. Love you. Great dreams. Keep on. Come closer. Come closer. 
silent cries My heart bleeds out with tears in my eyes Rising with silent cries My heart bleeds out with tears in my eyes The touch so big What's up, Huntington? I almost forgot how amazing you were. Almost. Are you guys ready to get down with us tonight? I want to see you moving carefully. Let's go. Come on. I can't live like this one more day With all this suffocating pain Oh my life You face to the rain I want to throw it all away Come on. See you here before Tell me why you leave it Why you leave it To walk through that door Tell me why you leave them Tell me what you're feeling What are you feeling? How y'all feeling tonight? Alright, the pain is killing me and I Can barely see a reason to carry on and fight When my will is gone for free Just listen to me now the pain will fade from us These stars are turning to blind Yeah, we are by an end on I see you here before Tell me why you leaving Why you leaving To walk through that door Tell me what you believe in Tell me what you're feeling What are you feeling? Alright Every breath I take reminds me of my past mistakes and I cannot go on For you, I've opened up my eyes to see through all the lies And I can't carry on Did you hear me before? Tell me what you need Gentlemen, I give you Rocky Meadows. I said, how you guys doing? Who's having a good time tonight? You guys are amazing. Isn't God good? Yeah. So a couple things. You guys know, I, I don't know if you guys know music. You've got three of the most quality bands in the country right here tonight, amen? So we're gonna help cover part of their costs, but listen, I don't know if you guys seen the rigs that they have out here and the way they perform, and we really don't have enough money to cover what they deserve. So we're gonna do a love offering, and we're gonna pass the plates. So, look, I know some of you don't have nothing, don't worry about it, but you guys have something, dig deep. It's a big deal to get this quality of, uh, this caliber of quality of music, the musicians in our house, amen? So Ryan, Lamb, if you guys would, bring them plates up, just pass them through. If you got something, dig deep. I said dig deep. We love the, the jingle kind, but we love the folding kind. Right? 
I'll make a good pastor one day. I'll take up all for him. Time to tithe. I heard a joke yesterday. Have you guys ever been to a church where they got the little tithe plate and underneath of it he's holding a pistol? Give it up. Who wants a t-shirt? So I got a medium. You get I got a medium. Who wants medium? Two X. This is Jesus is enough. Jesus is enough. Two X. Two X. This is a large, recovery is the new black, like I have one. I said recovery is the new black. Large. I have an extra large, Jesus is enough. Three X, Jesus is enough. Oh, and, and Nathan, this one's for you. I print it, shut the flesh up. It's printed, it's in print. I got you one after the show. So uh, I got a small, shut the flesh up. So to, uh, to go along with, with the show, for anybody that feels like the Lord's moved on your life and, and as he spoke here earlier about you just giving up the old you, we know that water baptism's the next step. He was real clear about that. We believe it's a symbolization of you burying the old you when you go under the water. When you're raised up, you're raised in newness of life. We call it sealing the deal. So if anybody wants baptized tonight, come on up over here to this side of the stage. I'm going to take you up. And we're going to baptize while they're playing, which has never been done, I'm sure. Anybody wants baptized, meet me on that side of the stage. We have changing clothes up there. If you need something to change into, we got you clothes. If you want baptized, meet me on that side of the stage. All right, right here at Norway Avenue Church of Christ, this Sunday, I will be speaking along with Jeff Garrett on the shadows of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Who wants to come to church? I'll see you guys Sunday, right here. All right, Huntington. This next song goes out to anyone who has ever seen us before. Who here has seen us before? So then you probably know this song. If you know it, I want to hear you singing along. I want people to fill the stage over here. Come on. Get on up there. Come on. This song I want to dedicate to anyone I Anyone who's ever felt like life is just a little too hard sometimes. Right? Preach it, right? I want to dedicate this song to anyone who's ever felt. Sometimes you were the underdog. This song is dedicated to my fighters. This song is dedicated to the survivors. And this song is dedicated to each and every single one of you here tonight. This is Circus! Circus! Come on, fellas! Set down for a moment until you realized what I was saying to you. Life is hard sometimes, like you realize. Breaking up the broken pieces tonight. Are you with me? A fool says in his own heart. Come on. Giving up and there is no good All your life you play that card in this circus, circus Love is gone, there will be pain And nothing better than nothing gay 
Your pretty life 
eyes unselfishly tore down everything I held precious to me now and you've gone away and I'm drowning in the pain I give anything to see you again Honey, take come on don't go I need you here tonight Will you sing it with me if you know it? Jesus, name above all names, bless and redeemer, living word. Tonight is a night of healing. Tonight is a night of change. Tonight is a night of never going back to the way you were. Tonight is a night of resolution, reform, restoration. My God changes lives. My God restores lives. My God will restore every single thing you have lost. He will give it back to you tenfold. Let me tell you, my life, my life was forever changed when I decided to cry out to Jesus. I was an addict like many, many of you here tonight. I was an addict like many of you here tonight. I was depressed, I was a cutter, and I was suicidal. 10 years ago, I was sitting in my bathtub. I was cutting my wrist for what I thought was gonna be the last time. And some of you know this story already. This story may be for your neighbor tonight. It may be a refresher for you because God takes ugly stories. Come on, open them up. My God takes ugly stories and he turns them beautiful. He makes them like a sparkling diamond. And 10 years ago, I cried out to God and I said, God, I know you're real. I said, and I hate you. That alcoholism and addiction is no longer I said, God, where were you? Is no Have you been there tonight? 
I said, God, where were you? When I cried myself to sleep every single night because of the names that they called me. And I said, I said, God, where were you when I was going through the pains of withdrawal? Lift them up, come on. And I say, God, I say, God, if you love me, like I've been told so many times that you love me. I say, I said, take my life tonight. Because if you don't, I will. Has anybody been there? Let me tell you, my God is the God of restoration. He restored my life. He's going to restore his life. Let me tell you, everything I walked away from that day, everything I walked away from that day, the lifestyle that I was in, the drugs, the depression, everything fell away when I cried out to God. And let me tell you, it's because of two things. That night I was honest with myself. How many of us know about honesty? It cleanses. That night I was honest with myself. And that night I was honest with my creator. Listen to me. Be praying for him, but listen, keep one ear on this. When I, when I said those words, when they uttered out of my mouth, God spoke to me. He opened my eyes. He opened my eyes to the value and to the worth that I had been stripped away so violently as a kid. Huntington, I was no longer ugly. I was no longer worthless. And I was no longer better off dead. But let me tell you, I was beautiful. I was loved. And I was worth dying for. Huntington, you are worth dying for. If the only reason that my life was spared 10 years ago that night was to be here with you tonight to tell you how loved you are, how beautiful you are, how much God who cares for you, then it's all worth it. It's all worth it. Every single trial and frustration, every single bump and bruise along the way, broken bones, I don't care, guys. Tonight is a night of restoration because the night, did you just get baptized? Yeah. Dude, give me a high five. Yes. That night, when I decided to give my life back to God, and he opened my eyes. He started putting things back into my life. He started restoring everything I walked away from. And tonight, let me tell you guys, the same God, the same God that came to my rescue that night, that same God is here tonight. And he is able and he is willing to save you to bring you up out of your situation, because he knows it. How many of you believe that tonight? Yeah. I have never, ever, ever done a testimony with baptisms going on in back of me, but let me tell you, I would do that again and again and again. 
Guys, we have a couple more songs for you. That's it. We have two more songs for you. Then we want to come and hang out with you, okay? But God's doing something tonight, first of all. God is doing something tonight because this next song... I know some of you have to leave, right? No? Oh. Then get in, then get in tighter. This, this next song is written for, written for a girl who came to me and said, Laura, I know how to lead my friends to Jesus. I know how to bring them to church. I know all that. But let me tell you, inside I feel like I'm dying. Has anybody ever felt like that before? Inside I feel like I just can't go on. And at home, this girl said at home, I have a stack of 100 suicide letters. And she said, I haven't been able to quite finish them yet, but I feel like I'm close. And let me tell you, that night we cried and we prayed. And after a little bit, I sent, I sent her home and I told her to send me a picture of that stack of 100 suicide letters on fire. And you can find that picture on all of our social media outlets. But without this story, that picture is meaningless. It's just a stack of papers on fire, right? It meant something after you hear and apply it to that picture. Just like God's word, you can hear it. You need to apply it into your situation. Am I right? That picture symbolizes freedom. It symbolizes courage and hope, which is what I know each and every one of you has found if you are standing in this room tonight. Tonight there is freedom and there is hope and there is healing. It's found at the cross, guys. This song is dedicated not only to her, but each and every person who's ever struggled with depression, ever struggled with addiction. I wanna pray for you tonight. Let's get there, right? It's like my good friend over here just said. Guys, Lord, we just seek you. We come before you. Lord, we lift up, lift up our hands to you, Father God. Lord, we ask that you would come and fill this place, fill each and every one of us tonight. God, I know you're here. Your presence is with us in this place. Lord, like a refreshing fire, fill us. Lord, let your fire touch each and every broken heart here tonight. Each and every heart that needs restoration each and every mind that needs restoration. Lord, I break the chains right now in the name of Jesus of addiction. Amen. Just lay those things down right now to him. You don't have to be quiet as I'm praying. You can just lay those things down. Lord, we just lay down our burdens. We lay down those things that may be tripping us up every day, Father God. Lord, we lay down those things and we ask you to take them away. Break the chains of addiction tonight. Lord, break the chains of hurt tonight. Broken hearts mended tonight in the name of Jesus. God, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. And Lord, we give you all the praise. God, in your holy, holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. The song is dedicated to you. It's called Sleepwalking.
you see now what I've tried With this emptiness inside Is what's keeping me alive I write another note Saying sorry but I've tried Will this darkness ever end? I'm screaming out inside Can you say Turn the page again The sickness sinking in And the voices in my head won't settle down Hey! Perfection at its best The hope to make it end And can you save me now? I'm broken inside I've died a thousand times Yeah! All right, we have one more song. And let me tell you what, it has been such a big honor to be here with you tonight. How many of you saw us the last time we came in town? You saw us? Not here at the other church, right? Okay, let me tell you something really fast. When we saw you that last time, I was a little bit pregnant. I was a little bit pregnant with this guy's baby. That's my husband right there. And since then, God blessed us so much with a, a little girl. Her name is Maylene, and she's right there with the blue headphones on. She's being so awesome, and I love her so much. So tonight, I want to dedicate this last song to my daughter. This song goes to Maylene. But I need a little crowd participation, is that okay? Yeah, I know it's okay. What I need from you is your two biggest and your two very, very best. Hey, hey, you know, yes, yeah. I know it, I don't even have to go over it with you guys. All right, hold on. You guys have this. I almost don't want to go over it, but I want to go over it one time for everybody else in the seats. Is that okay? One time. Let's do this together. All right? So, on the count of three. Ready, one. Ready, two. 
center of our everything and without him we're nothing this sunday right here it's at 10 45 jeff 10 30. at 10 30 right here jeff and i are going to be preaching the shadows of jesus don't forget right here next monday 7 30 the movement get it out have a great night be safe
away I'm just a breath away Losing my faith today I'm falling off the edge today I am just a man Not superhuman I'm not superhuman Someone save me from the hate It's just another war Just another family tour 